Five on Your Sideline is sponsored by Seiden Stricker Noby John Deere. The weather is almost perfect. The Cardinals are doing great. Times are good. Welcome into Five on Your Sideline. I'm Ahmad Hicks. And I'm Hannah Yates. As Ahmad said, life is good here in the sporting world in our town, and it's only getting better once the action begins. So let's get this party rolling. Why not start with a beautiful sunset for this matchup between St. Mary's and Lutheran St. Charles. The Cougars will draw first blood after the Stanford commit. Arlen Harris Jr. sets them up with this nice run. Aaron Kofi would sneak it in on the next play. But the Dragons' Karen Span would quiet the crowd down really fast. A read option leads to St. Mary's for the first score of the game for them, and while they never look back, the Dragons were going to win this game 57 to 12. Now over the river to Freeburg for homecoming against Columbia. Good start for the Midgets tonight. Landon Funderburg finds Brett Holocomb for the long pass into Eagle territory, and they punch it in a few plays later. That's Ethan Williams with the touchdown run to make it 7-0. Freeburg made plays on defense too. Check out this great interception Ooh. by Eli Horner. <laughs> Just takes it away from that Columbia receiver and Freeburg wins 21-14 on homecoming night. SLU welcoming in rival powerhouse CBC and let's get off and running. That's what Jeremiah Love is doing when he takes this handoff deep in his own territory and I bet you know what comes next. Yep, to the house for six points and then, well, some more offense. It was Patrick Hyder to another Jeremiah, except this time McClellan for a CBC. A nice pass and catch and McClellan does the rest. It was 17-0 at that point and the cadets were going to win big 59-27. Now undefeated Holt hosting Fort Zumwalt West and the Indians were decked out in the red, white and blue tonight. Check out this stretch from Cooper Brown to just get into the end zone. The nice keeper, nice play. Holt up and early and the fans are fired up. And then maybe the play of the night. Jackson Smith takes the uh -oh. kickoff and he refuses to go down. Let's sit back and watch this one. I think you know how this ends. All the way to the house for the score as Holt wins big 57-21. One of the best defensive tackles in the country is right here in our area. Marquise Gracial became a Pirate his freshman year, and his humble demeanor plays a large part in his success. It's not often you see a 6'4", 315-pound defensive tackle running the ball like this, but that's what Mizzou football coach Eli Drinkwitz wanted to see on Friday night. He put his arm around me and said, throw him the ball, coach. And I'm like, OK, I get it. We will get him the ball. St. Charles senior Marquise Gracial plays nearly every snap for the Pirates. He is so quick. He is so fast. By the time Marquis started ninth grade, he had never played any sport on a team before. Freshman year, it was really, again, it was really hard for me. Uh, wasn't the best academically. But St. Charles football coach Bob Leonard saw his potential day one. Let's go, the corner. So go. he started helping me, and it kind of changed. Like, I started, like, Focusing more on my grades and stuff. Marquise went from failing grades to a 4.0 GPA and four-star rating, and soon enough received his first D1 offer from Iowa State. I was very surprised. Like, I didn't think I was that good of a player. He would learn quickly he's more than good. It was Drinkwoods, and he said, we're going to offer you. And it was like, it was crazy because it's like, well, this is Mizzou. He would receive more than 20 offers total, including one from Nick Saban. That was even crazier. It was like, I was scared. Like, after I got offered by Alabama, I was like, well, I guess I am a good player. Like, <laughs> But his heart was with the Missouri Tigers. I felt like I was at home. You know, I could tell he cared a lot about me as a person. Like, I'm just happy. Like, it's my happiness. Now let's catch up with Gracial tonight. St. Charles taking on Duchenne. And who doesn't love seeing the big fella get the catch? <laughs> nice house. Rumbles to the midfield. Love to see it. It was all Duchenne in this one, though. Terrell Pete is going to make the catch. And once he gets the ball in his hands, he's a tough man to catch. Oh, yeah. Into pirate territory. And he just keeps on going there. Number four with the big night later on is Jamin Matthias. With the run, he gets into the end zone. Duchenne wins big. 41 to nothing. 
over to Parkway West, where the Longhorns hosted Eureka on homecoming night. West was up seven points in the second quarter when Eureka's Remy Watson takes off and he beats everyone to the pie line. That's a tie game at 14. Then Mizzou commit Jamarion Wayne rushes for nearly 100 yards in the first half. A short game right there. Senior quarterback Carson Smith, though, would get his team rolling. This pass nearly intercepted, but the play goes as planned. Eureka will go on to win 38 to 21. Now, taking a break from the action, one team not playing tonight is the Vashon Wolverines. I know some of you are thinking it's not basketball season. I know we're talking football. The Wolverines are 4-0 to begin the young season and have no plans on slowing down. As two players told me, this is no longer just a basketball school. My sophomore year, he went one and nine. I wasn't really happy with it, but to come out here my senior year and go four and up, very exciting. It feels it feels really special. I'm, I'm glad to be a part of this team. I'm glad to lead this team onto a good good season so far. I'm trying to keep pushing, trying to keep pushing, trying to keep up the state. We're looking for bigger and better things, college, all that type of stuff. 